consider a battery. We'll call it 6 volts. If you measure across these points, you get 6 volts. Add a second battery in series. and you have 12 volts now at the connection point between the two we'll call that neutral so if we measure from the negative point to the the neutral point we've got 6 volts. If we carry it over here and measure to the extreme positive point we have 12 volts. Now suppose we add another battery right here. It's still in the it's in the neutral zone so it's connected to these two. So, from here to here would be 12 volts. It's electrically the same as from here to here. So, that's 12 volts. Now suppose we have a magnet and the magnet is circling around and every time it passes anything the, all the the positive terminals follow it. So right here we've got 12 volts. Here of course we've got 6 volts. Okay so it comes around to down here you can't see it but there we go now from here to here we've got 12 volts 6 volts here from here to here we've got 12 volts the magnet continues around all the positives point towards it and once again wherever the magnet is we've got 12 volts in the center we've got 6 volts. The reason that works is because it's connected in series. From here, negative, which is the farthest away from the magnet, and here, positive, we've got 12 volts. The neutral is halfway. Okay, now that would be physical battery connections. replace the batteries with coils which would represent the stators in a the stator coils in a generator and it's the same thing does exactly the same function except that uh, you don't actually have physical connections because the magnet is what's generating the electricity by passing these coils. But the same thing is happening.
this is what it looks like. That's called a Y connection. Also called a star connection. That's the three coils of the stator in a generator. You have line one, line two, and line three, which are all the, the hot legs, okay? And in the center where the three are connected, you have neutral. So let's call each of these coils 110 volts, just for the sake of argument. So between either of these either of these coils and neutral you have 110 volts of course there you have zero volts because that is neutral but between these two points 110 these two points 110 these two points 110 okay between any two lines see they're in series so you have 220 volts because they add and this way you're not even using the neutral connection you're just going between the two now that's single phase power three phase power is when you add the third one and all it is is a third line so between any two you have 220 volts now in a home you don't have this third connection. You only have two connections. The third connection is still there, but you don't have a wire coming into your home. All you have is, is two connections. And in some places, the neutral but neutral does not take the place of the third connection. All neutral does is provide you a, a second voltage at half voltage. And here in North America we use that. We use 110, 115, whatever. And we also, we use the, we use a hot leg to neutral for most of our light appliances. And for heavy appliances we use across the two hot legs for 240 volts. In some parts of the country all they use is across the two hot legs. So they have 220, 230, 240 or whatever for everything. So that's the difference. Now another method of uh, connection of a generator, a three-phase generator, is called the delta connection. And in that case there's no neutral. So all you have is across the hot legs. And across each of those, instead of it being a 110 volt coil, it's 220 volts. So 220 across either, any two connections. And if you have to have a neutral connection with that kind of setup, you have to add a transformer. This shows a center tap transformer. Now this is still just a delta connected set of three windings. And in a home you wouldn't have this third one. It's still there at the generator, but you only get these two. So you connect those two, you've got 220 volts across L1 and L2. And you can connect that to a transformer with a center tapped secondary, and that provides your neutral if you need it.